something has happened that is very dramatic. Now the kingdom of heaven has doors and God began to lock the doors. Since Satan has failed and man, who God gave dominion, has fallen, now God needs to shut things up. He needs to lock things. And they cannot be unlocked to certain times that God determined. God, heaven now is not as free open to man as it was before. We no longer hear God coming down at the cool of the day talking to nobody. Not Noah, not Abraham, no one, like he did, amen, Adam. At that time, glory to God, things were wide open and unlocked. But now because man has fallen and God says, least he take of the tree of life and eat. If Satan tempted him to take the tree of knowledge of good and evil, if Satan now tempt him to reach his hand and take up the tree of life, man will stay in a fallen state forever. So God said, now I got to lock things up. So now the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, glory to God, has locked doors. Lord have mercy. Because there's some things that God shut up unto certain times. Come on, Sarah's womb was shut up. God intended for her to have a child, told them that they would have a, a son, but her womb would be shut up until a certain time. And even though Sarah tried to help the situation out, what with Hagar, God said, no, that's not the door. I won't open yet. The door that, amen, I have for you is locked for the time being. And no matter what you and Abraham do, it ain't going to be Lot. It's not going to be Ishmael. It ain't going to be nobody, glory to God, because Sarah's womb is a certain door, glory to God, that I have ordained that is locked, amen. And it's not until Abraham gets the key that it can be unlocked. Lord, help me. Let me preach good. That's why we have it, glory to God, on the, what's it, 18th chapter of Genesis, and God came and visited, glory to God, and Sarah laughed. And God said, why is Sarah less? Is there anything too hard for you? He said, about this time next year. He said, I'm going to return now, and I'm going to give Abraham a key. And that key is going to be the authority to bring about another race. And even though he's 100 and Sarah is, what, 90, glory to God, if the door is unlocked, it's going to take place. What you wrestle with is a shut door that's been locked of God because his will must be done in earth just as it is where? In heaven. Clap your hands and love the Lord and wait on God. We find this shut principle, this locking principle all through the Bible. Amen, glory to God. And even those that died in Noah's time did not have a chance to know the law. So then when God would deliver his people Israel, glory to God, he would bring about through Moses who had another key, and that was the ability to unlock the door of what does God want and what does God not want for man is called law. And when Moses went up on the mountain, glory to God, Moses' key looked like, amen, um, uh, two tablets of stone. And God took his own finger and wrote upon those fingers the Ten Commandments, which he has never put away. And that was a key to unlock now, glory to God, man would be responsible. Sin is not imputed to man where there is no law. But once man knows right, he has to do right, and he has to seek the ways to do right. Y'all didn't get that. He has to seek the way to do right. I'm trying to tell you about your weakness, your sin. Lay aside every sin and, and the weight that what? So you got to seek a way, amen, to get around that. Because there is a way that God has made. He would not make the law to tell you what you can't do unless he made you a way for you to escape. Because there is no temptation that has taken you but such as common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will, along with the temptation, throw you a key that you can unlock the door that may have been shut to your grandfather. Unlock the door that your mother could not unlock. Unlock the door that your daddy could, but God will throw you the key and say, now unlock that door. Come on and escape. <laughs> Clap your hands and love God tonight. So, oh, glory. So God closed up. He shut up. He locked up the way to the tree of life, glory to God, that he can bring, glory to God. It was the same thing that happened when God wanted a, a, a priest, when God wanted a prophet that would be faithful, even though he's, he'd be raised up in a corrupt time. He locked up Hannah's womb. And no matter how she pleaded, she just could not 
until a certain time will come. Because now that the Ark of the Covenant has been taken, glory to God, by the Philistines and not brought back in, we need, we need a preaching priest. We need a preaching prophet. Y'all ain't getting that. Now that you live in times like you live in, you better find somebody that got some keys. If you love your children, if you love your grandchildren, if you love your parents, now you better find somebody that got a key to the trouble that we have right now. Somebody. God is so gracious, kind of good. He gives somebody the keys. You may not have 